Hey guys, this is Aegis, and welcome to the map Antigua Shipyards, where there is not a single shipyard in sight. Over here in the top corner, we have Nurzel spawning as the red Terran player for UMBC. His opponent is going to be Domo Arigato, uh, spawning as the purple uh, Zerg player. He's going to be playing for Brandis University. I do apologize if I'm saying that wrong. I don't actually know much about this university. Over here, uh, Domo Arigato is going to be uh, getting up a couple of drones. We'll see what he's going for shortly uh, based on what his timing is on his spawning pool. Nurzel, known for his slow, methodical play, he's also on Team Light uh, with a couple of pretty good players. I believe they have a couple of Koreans on that team as well. I can't actually... Kawhi Rice is on that team. Zaris is on that team. Uh, and by the way, Zaris is one of the administrators of the Collegiate Star League, so a shout-out to him for making such an awesome league over here. Nurzel getting ready to close this off with a gateway. Domo Arigato will be seeing his timing of his uh, either hatch or his pool in just a moment. Gas now coming up for Nurzel, so he's not going to be going for any sort of super fast expand. And uh, as a staple of TVZ, we'll probably see a reactor and a factory going for a couple of Hellions in the early game to be able to get those factories up and going with Tech Labs later on so that we can uh, get out tanks and Marines, which are great units against a Zerg. More SCVs popping out, and the barracks is about done, so we will see that Orbital Command come up shortly. There's Domo Arigato. He's gone for his uh, hatch first, and then a extractor. That means he does want to get his Zergling speed up at ASAP. He's going to put three guys into that gas. So as soon as the spawning pool is done, he will have enough for gas, and as of that point, we'll see if he decides to pull drones off of gas or if he's going for any sort of faster tech, maybe going roaches uh, for a bust. First Marine out on the field for Nurzel, and by the way, this is MLG's version of Antigua Shipyard, so they do know that uh, their opponents have spawned in opposite positions. Neither player is actually scouted. Actually, it looks like Nurzel doesn't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> but it does look like he will soon spot his Zerg opponent, Domo Arigato, getting up his uh, expansion. We will see a drone transfer in just a moment. Supply Tebow closing this off and the reactor coming up as well as the factory grabbing the second gas relatively quickly. This does signal uh, to me that there are tanks soon to be out on the field, perhaps only two Hellions going to pop out of this reactor, or maybe even none going straight for those tanks. We'll see what Nurzel decides to do. Actually, looks like Banshee, sort of. We'll see We'll see if it's Banshee in just a moment. If it's Banshee, Tech Lab on the way. I guess that barracks might be used to create a Tech Lab. Well, what do I know? I don't even play Terran. So there's the uh, spawning pool researching the speed, and it looks like Domo Arigato keeping two guys in gas. He's going for an Evo Chamber. I believe he thinks something is suspicious, but has he actually seen anything? He has seen nothing, but he's gone for that Evo Chamber. Getting those quick upgrades will be nice, and he will have the added benefit of being able to produce spore crawlers in case of a cloaked banshee like we see here. And we'll, we'll see the cloak go down. I believe uh, that's what he's going for. And a uh, Banshee pop out as well. There's the cloaking upgrade. So it will be cloaked Banshee. We'll see how much damage he's able to do it with that. Plus one uh, melee is on the way. And Domo Arigato uh, actually not doing so hot with his drone saturation at his natural expansion. I don't like this at all. Uh, he's got generally a slightly oversaturated inside of the main and absolutely nothing at his natural expansion finally getting a couple of drones out there finally getting a little bit of use out of this natural expansion a couple of hellions 
from Nurzel about to knock on the front door. Swinecrawlers are about to finish for Domo Arigato. It looks like Nurzel able to clean up one of those creep tumors. And the two spine crawlers do finish up being the safe player that he is. Immediately pulls back those Hellions. The first Banshee is about to hit the field. There she is. Going to be advancing across the field to see if she can do some damage. Domo Arigato continuing to mine that gas with just two guys. He's also got two Evo Chambers. That means he will be able to get up those really fast upgrades. There's the Banshee now headed across the field. The Cloak upgrade is about finished as well. Those Overlords see the Banshee, but there's nothing they can do about it. The Cloak upgrade is just about finished. There it is, finished up, and the uh, Cloaking will go down shortly. There's the Cloak up, uh, Cloaking going down, and the Queen will not be able to shoot away at this. Uh, actually, no, there is a sp or Crawler at the ready. Nurzel going to go ahead and pull that Banshee back, see if he can do a little bit of damage over here. Another Spore Crawler up for Domo Arigato. Uh, he may actually be able to park his Banshee just right here and clean up a couple of Spine Crawlers as well. Nurzel now finishing up his natural expansion as well, transferring those SCVs out immediately. He's got an idle SCV over here as well. He's got his additional factories coming out, so he's going a very mech-heavy style. We'll be seeing a ton of tanks as well as Hellions out in the field. We also have the uh, Armory on the way. Two Banshees guarding the front, not able to do too much damage, but they will be a very nice addition to the army once Nurzel decides to pull uh, forward with an attack. There's the Infestation Pit on the way for Domo Arigato. He's... Uh, he's doing okay on his drone saturation now but he delayed saturating that for such a long time uh, as of this point I'd normally like to see a zerg player taking another base to be able to get further ahead Nurzel uh, climbing forward at 33 SCVs however the production tab does have 8 additional drones for Domo Arigato there's the two banshees going to be pushing forward to see if any damage can be dealt over here Macro Hatch also on the way for Domo Arigato. He's also got plenty of Zerglings out on the field. There's the Pathogen Glands on the way for those Infestors. We should be seeing those Infestors pop out real soon, so they will have the Pathogen Glands as soon as they hit the field. There's also that one Overseer checking things out. Only two Marines out in the field, so that Overseer will be able to get away pretty easily. Thor's now on the way for Nurzel, uh, so it's going to be Thor Hellion. A ton of Hellions out in the field already. He does not yet have the blue flame upgrade that will make this army so devastating. He's going to be going for either a plus one or plus two Thor push off of this. Infestors now popping out for Domo Arigato. Banshee is checking for a third base. Uh, Domo Arigato not doing a very good job of spending his money. He's got a couple of l idle larva as well. The creep finally getting spread. Nurzel looks like he is about ready to push as soon as the plus one vehicle weapons finishes up. There's the Thor continuing to sit back for a bit. And it looks like Nurzel is thinking about switching this factory over to that one tech lab. And keep in mind, this is game point for UMBC. If they win this match, there will be no further games in the series as UMBC is currently up to one. There's the Blue Flame upgrade getting researched for those Hellions. Uh, Nurzel actually delaying that to the last second. So he'll have that as soon as he does arrive on the scene with all of those Hellions. There's uh, basically Zerglings and Infestors out in the field. Uh, he doesn't have Neural Parasite, so I don't know if he's going to be able to hold off this uh, large army. There are Thors and SCVs coming off as well. Uh, our Zerg player banking 2,000 minerals. He needs to spend that right away on units. A couple of Roaches now hitting the field. Banelings being morphed by Domo Arigato. I don't know if that's the correct choice against Blue Flame Hellions. There's the Hellions advancing forward. Uh, Domo Arigato with his Infestors, and here come the Banshees as well, going to be working away at those Infestors. Looks like uh, the Overseer does spot things, and the Fungal Growth going down. Banelings unable to move forward, and the 